Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. This is part 4 of the reasonably priced and waterproof review series and this time we have the MPOW M30s which is one of the 5 earbuds I bought from Amazon recently for testing and comparing. All 5 earbuds had to meet two criteria. First, the price had to be 50 euro or less and second, all of them had to be waterproof. Links to the other videos are in the description but let's talk about the MPOW M30s now. When you open the box, you can see the generosity of MPOW as you will find three extra pairs of silicone ear tips and two different sized silicone fins as well, so you shouldn't have a problem with finding a good fit. There is also a USB-C cable and of course the carry case with the earbuds in it. The case is medium sized and fairly well built with a USB-C port on the back and a single LED light on the front. The total battery life is 25 hours and the earbuds will only last about 5 hours before you need to put them back inside the case to recharge them. These are not class leading numbers but still not too bad considering their price and size. Talking about size, the earbuds are small and lightweight and they sit in your ears quite comfortably with a low profile. They don't look particularly good and the fit is only average. Even though the tips and fins keep the butt safely in your ears most of the time, they can get loose a bit during heavy workouts or running. No need to worry, they don't fall out of your ears, but you will lose the bass and the passive noise isolation immediately. So you can use the earbuds in the gym, no problem, and the IPX8 rating helps when it comes to sweating, as the MPOW M30s are designed to be used in all conditions. The earbuds use Bluetooth 5.0, which provides you with a stable signal, quick pairing and a solid connection in general. Latency is not a problem when watching videos either. You can use one earbud at a time in single mode and leave the other one in the case to be charged if you run out of juice. Phone call quality is not the best with muffled voices and fluctuating volume levels, which kind of reminded me of Bluetooth headsets of the past. There is no app support, but there are touch controls on the earbuds which can control music playback, volume, phone calls and the voice assistant. The touch controls have a high hit rate and they register touches pretty well, but their reaction time could be a bit quicker. The best part about the touch controls is that white light that flashes every time you touch the buds and it also turns red when being charged in the case. It looks kind of cool. And you know what else is cool about the MPOW M30s? Their sound quality. They simply perform unexpectedly good for 40 bucks. They have bass with enough punch even if it does not go too deep. But it stays controlled and never tries to dominate the sound. Some of you might say there is simply not enough bass, but I personally like it a lot. Especially as it leaves enough room for the mid-range and the high frequencies to shine. Vocals sound full-bodied and detailed, instruments are true to life with loads of space around them and the sound stage seems to be a tad wider than what I used to hear from the competition. However, depending on what smart device you connect it to, the MPOW M30 can get a bit harsh. That happened when I used it with my Garmin 4 Runner 745 and Spotify, so that must be a codec or compression related issue. It's not a big deal, but keep that in mind. With that one caveat, the sound quality is excellent for the price, but there is room for improvement in other areas such as fit, phone call quality and battery life. But when it comes to connection and touch controls, the MPOW M30 delivers an above the average performance. So that's my take on the MPOW M30 True Wireless Earbuds. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. You can find useful links in the description below. Thanks for watching, see you next time.